Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the ASUS ROG 8 Pro. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price that I paid for this one is 1,000 bucks. Let's go through the specs real quick. Now this one comes in one color, phantom black. For the display, you got a 6.78 inch LTPO AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 388 for the PPI Patrol. The phone is IP68, dust and water resistant. You got Gorilla Glass 2 on the front for protection with an aluminum frame and Gorilla Glass on the back. You got HDR10. It goes up to 2500 nits brightness and you got a 165 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 with the Adreno 750 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now you got 16 or 24 gigs of RAM, 512 or one terabyte of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. However, you do have support for external storage. Now it's running Android 14 with Asus ROG skin on top. You got a 5,500 milliamp battery that features 60 watt fast charge. That means you can charge this phone from zero to 100% in 39 minutes. Now you also got 15 watt wireless charge. And you also got 10 watt reverse wired charging. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle, 32 megapixel telephoto, and a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. Now you can shoot 8K video at 24 frames per second. On the front, you got a 32 megapixel wide angle lens, and you can shoot video at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Now you got dual stereo speakers. You got 32 bit high res audio and high res wireless audio. You got Bluetooth, Wi Fi, NFC, always on display, face unlock, on screen fingerprint sensor. You got pressure sensitive gaming triggers. You got the LED anime matrix design on the back. You got dual USB Type-C charging ports. You got a headphone jack. And you got a virtual notification LED. All of that for 1,000 bucks. What's missing from my flagship checklist? No Quad HD display. No 4K 60 frames per second on the front facing camera. No reverse wireless charging. And no IR blaster. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes. Back in the building. I love my White Shoes. Calm down. Now, I don't know if y'all noticed, I thought I was going to get away with making that video without white shoes, but as soon as she heard me talking, here she is. First, let's talk about the presentation. Now, look, you spend a thousand bucks or maybe a little bit more, all right, for the, the big boy version, the one terabyte. If you buy the one terabyte version, that's going to come with the, uh, the accessories, okay? That's going to come with the AeroActive cooler. Now, if you buy just the 16 gig version, you're gonna have to buy that separately. I did buy one, and that's gonna run you an extra 100 bucks. But let's talk about this presentation compared to this. Now, think about this for a second. And this is why I always talk about this, because I'm spending my money on these products. This is the kind of stuff that makes me mad. 1,300 bucks, look what you get. Okay, this is basically Samsung telling you to go fuck yourself, okay, for 1,300 bucks. 1,000 bucks, look at what you get. Not only is this a dope unboxing experience, it's actually a game. Now, a lot of y'all are gonna buy this phone, so I'm not gonna ruin it for you, but when you unbox this phone and you set up your phone, there's a gaming experience built into the box. You're gonna use augmented reality. It's a full-fledged gaming mission. This is what I wanna see for 1,000 bucks, okay? You got ROG branding on the front for those who dare, okay? On this side, you got the classic ROG logo, okay? Pull down, let's get him pull that down, and you open this up. Now again, I don't wanna spoil it for y'all, that's why I'm not gonna demo it, because part of the unboxing experience with this phone is that game. So I don't wanna show y'all how it looks and ruin, it, uh, ruin the experience for you. Okay, here's your device. Okay, let's see. Now when you do the unboxing mission, you're gonna have to play with all of this stuff. Inside, <laughs> Let's all say it together. Samsung, Google, Apple, nothing, Sony, fucking Sony, 
pay attention, okay? Put the charger in the box. Now, when I do my full review for this, I got a lot of stuff to say, but let's, let, let's, let, let's do it one step at a time. So you got your charging brick in the box, and of course you got your USB Type-C charging cable, which is braided and very nice. Okay, let's see anything else in here. And that should be pretty much it. I'm, I'm, let me see now, I don't wanna really ruin this unboxing experience. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's see. Oh, wait a minute. There's a little, okay, hold on a second. Okay, little compartment right here. Let's see what's in here. Again, I'm gonna do this very gently. Little ROG branding. There's your sim ejection tool. Game shape inspired. Of course, you got your usual books and shit. Plug them and file them. And you got a nice little case. Let's go ahead and see what this case looks like. Okay, nice little protective case. Little ROG branding on it. Simple enough. Okay, again, no. Okay, I can't stress this enough. When you get yours and you set up your phone, do the virtual unboxing game. You're gonna love it, okay? It's sick. Now, I haven't done it on this one, but it's the same thing with all of the ROG phones. They all have a game built into the uh, unboxing experience, and I love that. I love that. Now, for the actual device, let's go ahead and peel this off the back. Give it a little wipe down. Bang. Here it is. Now, I love this phone so much, but there's some <laughs> some stuff we gotta talk about. Let me do the smell test real quick. Mm! It smells like a 46, <laughs> 46 hit combo that I'm getting ready to drop on somebody in Mortal Kombat. This is a gaming phone. But the best thing about this phone is look at this. Now, let's pull out last year's version, okay? Take off this Aeroactive cooler. Look at the difference. Now, I know a lot of y'all, y'all want a gaming phone, and I always say, even if you're not into gaming, gaming phones are dope, because usually they're gonna have a big, beautiful display, they're gonna have a lot of RAM, a lot of storage, a super fast processor, okay? They always gonna have dope speakers, okay? Hold up, I'm getting a little notification. They're always gonna have dope speakers. But the thing about gaming phones that a lot of people don't like, is they look like this. Now, let me turn this off for a second. I don't know why, why somebody blowing me. I, I usually put this on silent. My bad, y'all. Oh, let me turn this off. All right. A lot of gaming phones look like this. Now, this is a beast right here, but a lot of y'all don't want this. This kind of looks, you know, if you're not a gamer, this kind of looks like a toy. And think about it like this. You go out, maybe you at work, you go to dinner, you, you know, you're having a meeting, you're doing something fancy, everybody got their phones on the table, okay, somebody got the Galaxy, somebody got an iPhone, and you got this on the table, or this on the table, it kind of makes your phone look like a Steam Deck, or some kind of, you know, it, it, I, I don't want to use the word goofy, but it just seems like a toy, it seems like something that a little kid would have. With this phone right here, now, let's move these out the way, if you got these two phones on the table, both of them just look like modern day flagship phones. But this phone right here, <laughs> bro, let's go ahead and power this up real quick because I need y'all to see some stuff. First of all, I don't know if y'all noticed I'm, why that's loading up. With the ROG 7. All right, I mean, I mean, I mean let, 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 real quick, why this is, let, let's see, make sure, okay, why this is loading up, I know somebody's gonna ask me, what's the, bro, did you see that just now in the back? <laughs> did you see that on the back? Bro. Do you see what that says? Now that says Flossy Carter, right? So does this one. Okay, so does this one. You see with the ROG 7 Ultimate, you had the two inch OLED display on the back that actually has colors on it versus the anime matrix, okay? Design on the back. Now I like this one better, even though, you know, this one is more vibrant and colorful and you know, you can have more customization, optim uh, more <laughs> customization options. That's what I wanted to say. This one right here, look how sleek this one looks embedded into the back. So if you want to and you turn this off, nobody's gonna know it's there. Now the way I got my setup, I want you to know it's there. I wanna see my battery percentage, hold up. Do y'all see this? Okay, first of all, you see I got a notification right there. Bro, this is so dope. This is the kind of stuff I like. I'm gonna try to remain calm. You got the name right there, you know what I mean? Now if I turn this off, let's get and turn the display off. You see it says ROG, we got the time, 8.15, I like mine's in military time. You got the battery percentage, okay? And when I get notifications or phone calls, you're gonna see them on the back. 
Now, what's the difference between the 7 Ultimate and the 8 Pro? What's the upgrades? Well, with the 8 Pro, now you got an LTPO AMOLED panel that goes up to 2,500 nits brightness. Now, with the previous version, okay, it was just a regular AMOLED panel with 1,500 nits brightness. So what does that mean? Brighter display and LTPO AMOLED means you're getting that variable refresh rate. So now instead of just being stuck on 120, okay, or 165, now it can drop all the way down to one hertz. What does that mean in the real world? It's gonna save you battery. Okay, it's gonna save you battery by not forcing your refresh rate to be high when you don't need it to be high. What's another difference? I right, shoes, um, scoop. What's another difference? Now with the 8 Pro, it's fully IP68 dust and water resistant as opposed to IP54 splash resistant. Okay, so now you're getting full ingress protection. What does that mean in the real world? When you're outside, right, you're at that party in the summertime at the pool party and somebody snatch you up and dunk you in the pool. With this phone right here, after that, you're gonna be ready to fight. Okay, if somebody dunk you in the water and you got this in your pocket, you're gonna want the smoke. With this phone right here, you got full waterproof and dustproof protection. Next, Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 versus Generation 2. Now, I've been reviewing the last couple of weeks all of these phones with Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 processors, and this is why I said in that last video, 2024 is the year to upgrade. The processor is way more powerful, and it has better battery management. Okay, so now you're getting LTPO, AMOLED display, with the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3. That's going to give you better battery life. And I've been testing it out, and it's true. Next, more RAM and more storage. With this version, you had 16 gigs of RAM, 512 max. Now you can get 24 gigs of RAM with one terabyte. That's insane RAM. I don't know who's gonna need all that RAM, but if you're a hardcore Genshin Impact player, you might need it. Personally, I think that might be RAM overkill, but hey, if you're buying a gaming phone, that's what you want. You want overkill. Next, the cameras, okay? On last year's version, you had 50, 13, and five. Now you got 50, 32, and 13 with the real telephoto lens. So you're gonna get real photos. Next, the battery. Now last year's version had 6,000 milliamps, now you got 5,500. So it might seem like, okay, last year's version is gonna have better battery, no. Now you got the LTPO AMOLED panel and you got the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3, everything working as a cohesive unit. <laughs> it's gonna give you better battery life, trust me. Not to mention, this display on the back uses less power than this one. Next. Wireless charge. Show me a gaming phone right now that has a headphone jack, wireless charge, and IP68 dust and water resistance. Show me one right now. Okay, you're not gonna find that. And low key, on the side note, shoes was right there. I just escorted her, I just escorted her, what else was the word, escort. I just escorted her off the table ever so gently. Okay, for all of y'all, Peta, Peta, is it Peta? <laughs> All of y'all animal rights activists, I didn't. I, I just filed it to the side ever so gently. Okay, so now you're getting wireless charge. Also, the biggest difference, as you can see for yourself, the anime matrix design on the back. Bro, this is a true upgrade. Now, there is one downgrade that kind of, mm, that, there's actually two downgrades. With last year's version, you had the two front firing speakers, which is easily, and I mean easily, the loudest and best sounding speakers on any phone that I've ever used, okay? These two front facing speakers are incredible. But when you pair it up, okay, with this accessory right here, the Aeroactive Cooler, this Aeroactive Cooler actually has a subwoofer built in. So when you put this on this and you play music, it's like walking around with a JBL Go Bluetooth speaker. It is insane. Now with the new version, you don't have those front facing speakers. They're in the top and bottom now. Some would call that a downgrade. I, some would actually call that a downgrade. But in my testing, this as a downgrade sounds a hundred times better than everything else. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some, some testing that I did last night. Okay, I'm not gonna say a hundred times better. It sounds a lot better than the Galaxy, than the iPhone, okay, than the Oppo. I'm gonna show you some shit that I did last night. Okay, shoes is back. <laughs> anyway, let me go ahead and, um. okay, what did I do? Okay, I think I got it on a squeeze. Oh, you see, you see I got it on a squeeze mode for the flashlight? Hold up, you see that? This is the kind of stuff I like. All right, so let me pause the video. Let me grab the new Aeroactive Cooler, delete my browsing history, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves.
Okay, so this is the new Aeroactive Cooler X. Now again, if you buy the top spec RG8 Pro, it's gonna come with the phone. If you buy the lower spec version, you're gonna have to buy this separately. I paid, I think, 120 bucks for this from Giztop. All right, so let me grab a little unboxing knife. Got the John Wick special. Here we go. One more. Right. Shoes came in so hot. Shoes, you almost, <laughs> you almost got, <laughs> got, got you. You better calm down, bro. All right, let's see what we got inside. Let's see now. How does this open? Okay, slides right out. Okay, Republic of Gamers, for those who dare. That'll be me. I like to dare. Let's see. Now, I'm trying to do this without going into beast mode because I am selling this phone, and I'm going to tell you why I'm selling it. I'm selling the whole bundle. I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, so inside, you get a nice little carrying case. Okay, little ROG branding, shoes, inspect that for quality. And this is going to be your Aeroactive Cooler X. Now, one of the things about these Aeroactive coolers, as you see on this one right here, you got the RGB lights on the back, you got gaming triggers, and you also got pass-through charging, USB Type-C, and you got a headphone jack. Okay, so let's make sure this is the same. Now, this is actually one of the things I don't like. They took away the speaker on the inside. I liked having that subwoofer. Right. Okay. And this is how this one is going to look. Right. Okay. One more. Right. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and install this for the first time. Let me go ahead and open this up. Okay, <laughs> a little dramatic silence right there, you know. Now, for these, you just press the button on the top, spring load it, you grab your phone. You see this phone, it has USB Type-C charging on the bottom and on the side. Two different USB Type-C charging slots, and it's still water resistant. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and slap this on. Okay, as soon as you do that, you're gonna get a little prompt showing you how to use it. Attach, we do the update, and rock out. Now. You can hear that fan already spinning. Let me go ahead and update this and then we'll walk through the features. All right, so now that we did the update, let's try this one more time. On the back, you can see the actual fan underneath there. You got a bunch of buttons. You got a kickstand and it has the same pass-through USB Type-C and headphone jack. Now, once you slap this in, okay, lock it into place. If you notice, it has a little button right here, so you can actually activate your power button without turning it on and off. So you got your Aeroactive cooler. Now this does have RGB lights, so let's take it over to the Armory Crate. Y'all hear those speakers, bro? Come on, man. All right, let's go to console, and let's go to the Aeroactive cooler. So we got more settings. So we got start, you got cold, you got Frosty, which I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Not only does this cool the fan, uh, the phone, it cools your hands, okay? It's blow blowing out a lot of air. My fingertips are cold right now. I'm already cold in this basement, okay? But you can turn cooling mode on and off. Okay, you see? Y'all hear that? It's actually blowing. Okay, you got lighting controls. Let's go ahead and turn those on. Let's see. All right, matter of fact, let's activate a lighting control. Let's see. Lighting color effect. Incoming calls. We're going to leave that on. Okay. Buttons. Everything on. Okay, let's see. Music. Everything on. Why, why not? Okay, you got X mode on. Notifications for all apps. Leave that on. Charging on and you got different RGB light patterns you could choose from if you want. Okay, so screen on, let's do rainbow. Now if you look in the back, there's the rainbow lights. Now this one actually had better lights. Look at, this one has more lights. But you got the RGB lights on the back. Let's see, we got rainbow. It's gonna show you right here what it looks like so you don't have to keep spinning it around. You got strobing, color cycle. Okay, basically just cycle through all of the colors. Let's see, you got Comet. Let's see what this is doing. Okay, if you want a little less flare. Flash and dash, mix lights, rainbow, change color with temperature. That's pretty dope. Breathing, strobing, color cycle. Okay, that's, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and leave it on 
color cycle. Okay, you can change the actual rate of it. Go back. Okay, screen off. Mix lights, why not? And that's pretty much it. So this is what's gonna look like. Now let's turn the screen off. And you still get the lights. That's the same thing on this one, but this one actually has more lights and better lights. Okay, but if you notice, the newer version is a little bit smaller, but I'd rather have it a little bit bigger and have that built-in subwoofer. That is so dope for me. This is why this is my travel phone, and this is why I can't sell this phone, which will bring me to my next point that I wanna talk about. Okay, so you got a little kickstand right here. So this is how I like to leave it on my desk like this. Okay, just like that. You hear that fan spinning with the RGB lights. So if you're gaming, you can actually plug in your USB Type-C charging cable. You can rock your games just like this while you're charging up the phone and keeping everything nice and cool. There's your back buttons. I can't even, now you can't really see this in a video. Well, you definitely can't see it on the video, but <laughs> my fingertips are freezing right now. I'm already cold, but you can feel that air hitting the back of the phone and your fingertips. All right, so if you mashing buttons right, and you're all sweaty, <laughs> this is gonna cool you down some. Now to take this off, press the button on the top, pop it right out, press the button back down, drop it in the carrying case and keep it pushing. All right, now let's talk about the build quality of this phone. Now I wanna take this off real minute because I wanna show y'all something. You know, I have evolved as a tech connoisseur. If y'all watch my videos, now look, I'm gonna talk to y'all, I'm just talking to y'all, you know, one on one. Whoever y'all watching this, I'm talking directly, directly to you. You know, I'm one of the main people that always been like, this is the kind of stuff I hate. I hate a Galaxy S22, then a Galaxy S23, then a Galaxy S24, they all look the same. You know, I, I don't like that. Well, let me say this again. I used to not like that because I like to buy new phones every year. So I wanna feel like I'm getting the new phone. But, you know, I gotta eat my words. It kinda makes sense for Samsung and Apple, even Google, because they last couple of pixels look alike. It kinda makes sense for a company to keep the same design. Because think about it like this. Imagine if you just went out and bought this last year, or a couple of months ago, and then, you know, you're doing your thing, you got a big $1,000 beastly gaming phone, then they come out with this. Now, I know a lot of y'all don't care about this kind of stuff, but I do. Now your phone just looks old school, because everybody knows this is the new one, with the dot matrix on the back, you still got the old LED. Now, don't get me wrong, in the real world, both of these phones are absolute monsters, okay? but. I would rather have them look exactly the same if I'm not planning on upgrading because I don't really want to upgrade this one because I don't want to lose my Bluetooth speaker. Well, actually, not Bluetooth. I don't want to lose my built-in speaker. That's what I meant to say, built-in. I don't want to lose my built-in speaker in the Aero Active Cooler. Not to mention, I like the colorful design on the back. I like my name to come out with the colors like that. That's kind of sick. But now they changed the design. Now I'm be walking around looking like last year's peasant. So again, I know a lot of people think I'm just saying that because I'm on Samsung's nuts, or as the young people say, glazing. I people saying I'm out here glazing, but it kind of makes sense, even with the iPhones. If you don't plan on upgrading your phone every year, why do you want your phone to be looking mad old? I get it, and it kind of makes sense to me now. It's the same thing with cars. Imagine if you bought, now you've been working hard, you buy a 2024 Mercedes-Benz, maybe a big boy, E63 AMG. And then the 20, the very next year, they change the whole front, change the whole back. Now all of a sudden, your brand new car looks mad old. That's why car companies, they don't really change too much every year. Maybe every three, four years, then you change it up. So for Samsung, I would say three years is the sweet spot. So if you still got a Galaxy S22, you're still looking like a boss. Now, Apple, they kind of taking it to the next level. The iPhone's been looking the same for, for about a minute. I would say, Three years, three years, and then change the design, okay? Now, speaking of three years, with this phone, you're gonna get two years of guaranteed updates, and I believe three years or four years of security patches, okay? But two years, guaranteed updates. All right, so let's look around the actual design of the phone. The back has the soft satin penny finish on the back. Y'all heard me say that before. Look, the Pixel, okay, the Pixel has it, the OnePlus has it, this has it, okay? I don't know what these companies are doing nowadays, but I like it. I like this soft 
matte, no fingerprint feel as opposed to the glossy glass backs. Frosted, matteless, or oh, matteless, <laughs> frosted, matte, soft glass on the back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting ten tied all over the place today, but hey, it is it is. It is what it is. Okay. Now, if you look at the camera, it kind of has this big hump on the back, but I'm kind of glad that they got rid of this shape because I hate this shape, honestly. This is this screams. This screams Dungeons and Dragons. You know, this this just screams gaming. I don't like that. I, and I don't like why why my Samsung phone keeps trolling me. Yo, hold on, look at this. Y'all see my animated wallpaper? Wait till I do the Galaxy video. Let me go ahead and um put my notifications on silent, please. Okay, maybe that's a different phone. I don't know. Anyway, all right, so the back of the phone, let me get a little wipe down. Look at the matte finish. And all you got is this black line right here. Now, this black line right here, you know... <laughs> Shout out to Asus. I wish they I wish they didn't put this, even though it you know, of course they gotta have something to make it look gamerish, which would have been the camera. The camera screams gaming phone. The black line they I could have did without that. Even the uh, little Asus logo matted into the back. I love it like that. Okay, I love that. All little little, you know, little clip will show you gaming triggers, EST, all everything is so matted out, you gotta really look to find it. So at first glance, when this is on the table, it doesn't really look like a Steam Deck. Like, think about it like this. Which one of these phones, if you didn't know, if you didn't know nothing about nothing, and somebody said, I'll give you $50 right now, tell me which one of these is the gaming phone. First of all, you're going to be like, this is the gaming phone right here because it actually has all the stripes and looks like a, a floor pan for a Fortnite mission or some shit. Then you're going to say, okay, this one right here. Okay, you got the big logo, all of this extra stuff. This right here, without the, if this wasn't on, it just looks like a matte black phone. And I love that. On one side, you got your power button, volume up and down. Now the ear triggers, they on the top. These are pressure sensitive and customizable. Okay, but I like how they don't pop out and, you know, these are, if you don't use them, because I'll probably never use them, you never use them unless you want to. On the top, no IR blaster. Now, that's one thing that I will say about the Red Magic phone. At least you got an IR blaster. No IR blaster, but I'm not going to make a big deal about it on this one. Okay? On this side, you got another USB Type-C charging slot. On the bottom, there's your speaker grill. Okay? Headphone jack. USB Type-C charging slot. And your SIM tray. Okay? That's pretty much it. On the back, there's your triple camera setup. And this is called the Anime... <laughs> the anime matrix okay or as us gamers we call it the dot matrix if you ever had an asus rg laptop we call that the anime dot matrix because it kind of looks like dots but if you look closely fully customizable if i hit the button hit the power button look at that so i got mine set up to when the screen is on you're going to get the time you're going to get the battery percentage Okay, you're going to get the name of the phone and you're going to get the demigod. <laughs> now, you can put whatever you want on it and rock out. Okay, let me get this. I know, I, I like to wipe the phones down because I know a lot of y'all don't want to see all these smudges and fingerprints. Okay, a couple of different ways you can open up your device. Now, before we do that, let's take a look at this always on display, fully customizable. You got time, date, battery percentage, notifications. Okay. Oh, and here's another dope feature. Y'all remember on this one, you actually have a notification LED on the top. I don't know if y'all can see it. Look right there. You see that green? I don't know if y'all can. Do I have any notification? Let's see. You see it right there? There's a notification LED. They took it to the next step with this. Now you have a virtual notification LED. And I'll show you how it looks because I don't have no new messages right now. But it comes up in the corner right there and you can switch sides. That's what's dope about it. You can actually switch sides. Okay, so you got your always on display. Now you swipe up. You got your pattern on your pin. Next, you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor. All right, which works flawlessly. Shoes, shoes just bump me. Let's do three in a row. One, two, three. Three. Let's do one with the screen off. There it is. And of course, you got face unlock. Now, this face unlock is insane. It's one, two, three. Let's look away. Let's look at it. Bang. All 
I ain't even gonna say nothing yet. I, yeah, I know. I ain't even gonna say nothing yet. Face unlock works flawlessly. Okay. Now I bought this from Giztop. This is the Chinese version, so you're not gonna have your Google homepage, but you're gonna have a different setup when you swipe over. So I got my shortcuts. Okay. Now you can add more shortcuts if you want. Let's see. Um. Okay, I gotta connect to my Wi-Fi. Matter of fact, let me plug in the SIM real quick. All right, so one more thing I wanted to mention before I get too deep into this video. I know somebody's gonna ask, can you use last year's Interactive Cooler on this year's phone? The answer is no. If you could, I would have loved to have kept this one and use that built-in speaker, but unfortunately you can't do it. You gotta get the new version. All right, so if you swipe over on the Chinese version, you're not gonna have your Google tab, but you do have a bunch of shortcuts. Okay, you can add or subtract as many as you want. You can add as many cards as they have available. So you see, got rewards from games. I got my steps and suggested apps. Swipe over once. Here's your home toggles, okay? Now you can actually change this. Let me show you, you got different modes. Okay, so you got X mode. You got dynamic and ultra durable. Now we'll go through all of those settings in a minute. Okay, so for, as far as the quick toggles, you got, let's just go to edit real quick. Okay, so you got all your standard quick toggles. Okay, you got system lighting, you got your anime vision. So you can turn this off with one press. You see, I got, let's see, let's do it like this. So you see anime vision, turn that off. Now when you go out somewhere, if you don't want to look like the supreme nerd, just turn it off. And then when you get around your nerd friends, turn it back on, okay? Now hold on a second, I'm getting a little call right here. Amaya's calling me in the middle of my video. Yo, yo, yeah, I'm making a video. Oh my God. Come on, man. You, 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 I'm going to call you back. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> life be life be life All right, life be life -in. All right, so you swipe down. There's all your quick toggles. Let's see anything we need to see here. You got memory cleaner. Do not disturb. System lighting. Okay, look. System lighting. Okay, you got to turn the accessory on for that. All right. And if you go to edit tiles, you got everything else. You can change your refresh rate. Let's go ahead and add that. Let's see, auto start manager, Shazam, one hand mode, split screen multitasking, everything is in there. Let's go over the settings. Now with this phone right here, there's a lot of settings. I'm not gonna go through every single one. There's a lot though, there's a lot. So you got your T-Space account, you got your Asus account. As far as more connections, you do have NFC. Okay, you got screencast, VPN, private DNS. If you bought a Chinese version, you're not gonna get any Android Auto. That's the only downside to that, buying these Chinese phones. Mobile networks, okay. It does feature dual SIM slots, okay. This will work on AT&T in the USA. You're going to get 5G. Let's go to launcher and personalization. Okay, so you got a bunch of themes to choose from. Wallpapers. Now, you do got all your Asus extra gamey, extra nerdy style wallpapers. Like this, like you know what I'm saying. Like this, this, this is the kind of stuff right here. If you if you into anime though, you know, do your thing. But if you want something nice and clean, you could go ahead and rock this. Okay, that's a nice little shadow elite. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm gonna use um my transparent. Got to set that so I get my weather. You could change your icons. Now, if you don't like this, you could go technology. Now this right here, this might be a little too gamey, a little too techy for some. So just drop it on classic. All right, so we're going to leave mine on classic. We'll do classic, matter of fact, we'll do classic squares. Let's see, which one looks minimum nerdish? Okay, we'll leave it on that one. Show the app names. You can actually change the colors. I'm going to install it just like that. You got your font styles. Okay, a bunch of different ones to choose from. Fingerprint animations. Let's go ahead and, um, okay, they make you put the, the pin number in to change that. Oh, okay, that was a different, that was a different, Um. okay, unlock animations. Okay, you do. All right, so you got the Asus one, that's pretty dope. Aviator, Luminous, Mystical, Galaxy, Star, oh, Starlight looks dope. Okay, and Crystal, let's go ahead and leave it on Starlight. Okay, okay, Indicator Styles, okay, that's it right there, let's go and exit out of that. All right, so that's fingerprint, anime vision. Now for anime vision, this is all inside of the Armory Crate, so I'll wait to do that later. Uh, phone ringtones, notifications, alarm sounds. Okay, wallpaper sideshows. Uh, okay, that's pretty much it for that. Let's go to display and brightness. 165 hertz refresh rate on this. This is a big boy right here. 
okay? Now you can actually customize your display experience. All right, choose. <laughs> okay, so I got mine on custom because I like mine to be a little bit colder. You see optimal, you got neutral. It's hard to see on video, but you see cinematic kind of, kind of looks yellowish. I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine on customize. Okay, always on display. You got different clock styles. This, this, this. Let's see, um, this one is kind of funky. I like this little red one. Let's go ahead and leave it on that. You can have it show always. Okay, lift to check the phone, That leave that on. Okay, we got light and dark mode. You can change the wallpaper color too. Display size and text for, okay, screen refresh rate. Put it on auto. Okay, if you want to save battery, leave it on auto. Because when you're on your home screen, you don't need 165 hertz refresh rate to go around your home screen. That could be on one hertz. Save your battery life. But then when you're ready to get your scroll on, put it on 165. Now, me personally, I'm leaving it on 165. Why not? You paid for it. Uh, you got status uh, icon, camera cutout. Now, if you don't like the little punch hole camera, that's another difference between the old version. Remember, it had that front facing speaker grill, so you had a lot of room on the top for a notification LED and a camera on the top. This one, now that it's basically bezel-less, you got the hole punch camera in the front. But if you don't like that, you could get rid of that. You see, you can make it look like the older one. Some of y'all don't like that dot. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, screen light. Now, this is it right here, the screen light. Okay, let's turn that on. Custom effect. This is the screen light. You see, it's gonna it's an actual virtual notification LED that stays on. So when you got your phone on your wireless charger and you get that alert and you can't see it on the always on display, you will see that. And you can actually change the color. Okay, you can change the light style, you can change the color. So for charging, I got mine's on red. For notifications, I got it on green. And you can change the position from left to right. That is pretty dope. Let's get it and leave it on left. Why not? Okay, so that's screen light. Power button menu, okay, nothing to see there. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's go over to sound and vibrations. Now, watch this. Let's do... Notification town. All right, hold on, look at this. Hold up, my pop said things went well. Okay, that, that was a good message. Now, I'll read that later, but I just I just quickly read it and said things went well at the doctor. That's, that's what I like to hear. Call volume. Okay, look, outdoor mode, enhance the sound volume above a certain level. Okay, we got outdoor mode. Well, we'll leave that off until we get to the sound test. Let's see anything else we need to see here. Phone ringtones, notification sounds, vibration and haptics. Now, the haptics on this phone are insane. And if you the haptics, that just means the vibration. So when you're playing a game or you get a text message or phone call, the vibrations, very intense. And I like mine's, you see, I like mine's on um, maximum intensity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can do yours whatever way you want yours. Bunch of different sounds. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to notifications. Anything we need to see here? Nope. Uh, open up floating windows via heads up. Now you can have a little pop-up like that. I'm going to leave mine's on. Why not? Screen lock. Okay. You got face unlock. Fingerprint sensor, okay, lock screen preferences. You can add a big clock if you want, okay. You got extend lock, that's gonna be your, you can have it where it's always unlocked when it's in your personal space, which I don't recommend because <laughs> if you pass out with the phone in your pocket, somebody could just open up your phone, go to your cash app and go crazy. All right, so I don't like extend lock unless you had a desk at work and you gotta remember to turn it on and off. You gotta think like these scumbags nowadays. All right, let's go to applications. Anything we need to see there? Mm, okay, you can have twin apps. Okay, scumbag mode. Let's go to battery. Now you can scan your battery. The battery life on this is epic. Even with the anime matrix on the back, if you just leave that on, the battery life is still epic. Okay, you got battery care. Okay, you see it's good. But this gives you a full battery suite. You got steady charging, schedule charging. Remember, this might be your phone for the next couple of years. Take care of your battery. Let's go to uh, charging mode. Look at this. Now you got regular charging or you got bypass charging. Now what that means is, say you're in a heavy gaming session, you can just have it charge the, the phone and not the battery, just charging the phone. Why is that important? That's gonna keep the phone cooler. So you're gonna get less throttling if you're using the Aeroactive cooler with bypass charging, your phone is gonna be ice cold and you could game all night. Uh, you could be on Genshin Impact all fucking night. All right, let's see, anything else we need to see? Uh, battery care, power consumption record, okay? 
full, like I said, full battery suite storage mode. Now, this is a 512 gig version. Okay, you can free up some space if you want. Let's go to security. Okay, everything there. Privacy. Okay, you can turn your camera access off, turn your mic access off. You got activity controls, ads, all that good stuff. Let's go to Smart Assist. Okay, system navigation. Gestures. Let's see what we got. Lift or wake. Motion gestures. Flip for mute. Okay. Double tap to turn the screen on. Double tap. You can swipe to turn the screen on also. You can do uh, off-screen gestures. All right, so you can do your flashlight and camera and all that good stuff. You got pocket mode, glove mode, screenshot, screen recorder. You got your quick action, air triggers. Okay, we're going to talk about Game Genie and air triggers. Okay, so Game Genie, we're going to leave that on. You can customize your air triggers. Okay, open up floating windows. You got edge tools. Okay, that's a little swipe on the side. All right, let's see. Make, make, matter of fact, make sure it's on. Always show. Okay. Okay, sidebar style. Let's do, let's do width. A little wider. A little longer, you see right there on the side. Transparency. Okay, there it is. I couldn't even see it. All right, there it is. So we can move this up and down. And then when you swipe it over, you got your little quick menu, sidebar. All right, so I like to leave mine so I can see it. Same thing on the Galaxy. If you notice how it's big and red right there, look at the little, look at the little cat. Yeah. See, I like to have it big where I can see it because I'm getting old. Dude. I'm getting old. All right, screen off shortcuts. That's pretty much it for that. Let's see, card holder. You got Xiaomi, Xiaomi for ROG. Now this is, let's see, wake up with voice. Okay, that's kind of like some voice assistant type shit. Card holder, store your credit cards and all your bus passes. <laughs> bus passes, because if you're behind this phone, you definitely ride the bus. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Come on. This is a thousand dollar phone. If you buying this phone, that means you got a couple of dollars, bro. All right. Let's see. Now you also have the squeezeology, which is customizable. You see, I got my squeeze. Let me let me see. Off screen. If I squeeze it, you get the flashlight. If I squeeze it and hold it, it takes me to the camera. All right. Now, why did I have to have the front facing camera on looking extra goofy? All right. Let's do that again. I got, I got busted. Okay. Right to the camera. You ever you ever get a FaceTime? Somebody FaceTime you and you're in the bed and you actually see how you look laying in the bed? You be looking like a whole mess. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's 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 see. Is any I don't want to waste all day with the settings. Let's see. Is there anything else we need to see here? Uh, system updates, no. Okay, RG tips and about phone. Okay? This is like I said, this is 16 gigs of RAM, 512, Android 14. Okay, wireless charging. Now, no reverse wireless charging. Now, if I want to charge this phone, if I want to charge that phone from this phone, same thing like how you're doing on the iPhones now. You just plug in a cable. You just have, have a, a dual USB Type-C cable. You plug one end into this phone, one end into that phone, and whichever phone has more battery, it's going to charge the other phone. So that's called reverse wired charging. Now, with the Galaxy phones and a lot of these other Android phones, we used to reverse wireless charging where you just turn it on, put the phone like that. Okay, you're not gonna have that on this one. Though. Okay, look, oh, hold up, I just got a message. Hold up, little drop test. Right, shoes, bro. All right, I'm trying not to activate shoes, y'all. All right, let's see. There, there, there's one more thing I wanted to show y'all. Let's go to, I believe it was under Smart Assist. Okay, pocket mode, glove mode. Okay, accessibility. If you're hearing or visually impaired, shout out to the accessibility community. All right, y'all be hitting me up and y'all be like, make sure I show that. So I'm showing it to y'all. Okay, ear triggers. Okay, you can turn these on and off, and these are also customizable. So for my ear triggers, if I squeeze down on both of them, automatically takes me to the armory crate. All right, since we're here, let's, let, let's go through the armory crate. Okay, so from the armory crate, I got a little wipe down. From the armory crate, okay. <laughs> oh, look, matter of fact, let me just show you the squeeze just as real quick. So that's for the ear triggers. You see, if I squeeze, I get the flashlight. All right, that's the side, the side squeeze. We call that the squeezeology. Long press, open the camera. But if I want to, I can do screenshots, turn on X mode, launch different apps. And you got squeeze force level. So everybody don't got big beastly hands like me. You can change your squeeze force level to what feels comfortable for you. Now that's how you see, I, I like mine's like a little bit in the middle. I'm going to cancel that because I had it set up the way I like it. All right, so that's pretty much it for that. Now, like I said, at any moment, Okay, that was the wrong. That was, I was supposed to press both air triggers at the same time. Take me to the armory crate. Y'all hear that music? Okay, so we got 
different games. You got the game store. You see, I actually downloaded Genshin. First of all, Genshin Impact. Who is Genshin and what is he impacting? Somebody put me on. What is his impact? Each one has a little tab, okay? If you want to, you got some settings. You can have it like that. In that view, if you got a lot of games, I don't got a lot of games. You do have some settings. So you got game sorting, game duration, and settings. Okay, launch animation, background music, touch sounds. Okay. Now we go to console. Okay, now this is the big boy. This is the armory crate. This is the console. You see your GPU, your CPU, your memory, storage. Okay, now when you switch different modes, you're gonna get different performance. So if you're really getting ready to have a five hour Genshin Impact segment, <laughs> all right, you can put it on X mode. That's gonna get the best performance. If you're just using a phone for day-to-day -day action, leave it on dynamic, your battery start running low, put it on ultra durable. Okay, now you got your anime vision. This is what's on the back. So if we click on that, we go to more settings. Now, if you want to, you can have it scheduled to turn on and off. Let me turn this down. I feel like I'm yelling. You can have it scheduled to turn on and off. So if you know you're gonna be at work from nine to five, you can leave this off from nine to five. And then at 501, turn it back on when you're getting around your friends. Yeah? All right, so let's go to more settings. Now you do have a bunch of different ones for music. Okay, you got this or this. So when you're playing your music and you got your phone on the table, this is gonna be dancing in the background. <sighs> I, I, just, I love this kind of stuff, man, I really do. Incoming calls, okay, you can have a phone call like this or like this. And it's gonna look like this on the back when you're getting that phone call. So you got your phone on the table, you're having dinner, you got your phone on scumbag mode on silent. You're like, oh, I'm getting a phone call. Come on, man. This is, I'm sorry, shoes. I, I yelled, I didn't mean to sk scare shoes off. This is what I like. This is innovation. This is innovation. Imagine this on the back of a galaxy. I mean, come on, man. I, I might end up keeping this phone. All right, so you got, because this is this alone, this is a conversation starter. I, even though I ain't got nobody to talk to, but you never know. You got notifications. Okay, now you can do custom. You see, I did the plus. Okay, if you do add, you could draw, you could have a signature, or you could import. All right, so if you know somebody who makes dope anime displays, have them have them send you one, and you can import it. Okay, so for charging, this is when you plug your phone in, you're getting the charge. They're gonna show you the actual battery percentage and that little charging animation. Fire. Okay, fire. Let's see, screen on. Now for screen on, you see, you got preloaded ones. You can have Republic of Gamer. You can have this one. Just This is just when your screen is on. A little, little rocket ship, little gaming rocket ship, little Space Invaders action. Okay, but I'm gonna leave it on custom floss. That screen on, screen off. Now the screen off one is, is, is dope because it's gonna actually show you the time and the, and the battery percentage. When you, with camera, now if you want to, when the camera's open, you can have this icon right here. All right, so when you're shooting video or, shoot, or recording, this icon right here. Now, I don't recommend this because you don't want everybody to know what, when you got your camera open. But if you don't care, then it is what it is, okay? But I'm leaving mine on, who cares, man? Think about it, nobody can't say nothing to me. All right, you got timer countdowns, leave that on too. All right, so if you're getting um, a timer, all right, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope for your camera. You know, you you, you know you let the per you know the person can see when you're getting ready to shoot. You got recording. Oh, now this is dope. The old school record word. Oh, this, uh, imagine I uh, you know the cops pull you over. He's like, I'm recording you, and they see that actual rec. They know you're not playing. They know you are recording. That's kind of dope. Or you could go old school and have the little video thing. Now I like the recording. I want you to know. I'm videotaping everything. You got game, now for game, you got a bunch of different ones. I just leave it on game. So when, when you gaming, people know, when you see you going like this with that big aeroactive cooler, they know that you actually gaming. Okay, so that, that's pretty dope. All right, so that's the anime vision. Or like I said, we call it the dot matrix. Okay, so now you got your display area. Okay, you got your aeroactive cooler. We already went through that. You got your 10 cent ex uh, accelerator. You got game mode, you got your ear triggers. Look, the unboxing mission, okay? So it's in the armory crate. When you first get this phone, make sure you click on unboxing mission and do the unboxing mission. You're gonna love it, trust me. All right, so that's the armory crate. Exit out of that. Okay, now as you can see, it's running Android 14. I got all of my Android 14 widgets. I just seen something that looked weird. Oh yeah, what is this? I said, well, let's um, 
Get this out of the way, because I don't like that. Remove that. Now, if you want to add some widgets, go to widgets. You do have some dope um, Asus widgets, which I'll show you in a second. <laughs> yo, I don't know what shoes is chasing. It must be a fly or something, but yo, shoes just came in on the side, came through extra hot. Oh, uh, yeah. okay, let's, um, oh, that, that, I didn't like that. <laughs> All right, so we do a little um, Google right here. Okay, leave that right there. Stretch that out. Bang. Okay, so now when you when you long press on stuff, let's, let me exit that. When you long press, you got your wallpapers and style, widgets. You can change your icons. Okay, preference. Okay, home screen. All the stuff we already went through. Now, here's some of those widgets I was talking about. You can actually see your battery percentage. You can change the refresh rate right from this widget, right down to 120, right down to 60, like the banana head iPhone peasants, okay? Or you can come up to the big boys and rock 165. Now you got your Aeroactive Cooler widget, okay? Of course, Gmail, you know, this is my Netflix widget. I can play some music right here. You know what I'm saying? Let's turn this up. Play some bounty killer. All right, you know, I got the news, Facebook, Okay, all my notes, all of the Android 12 widgets, I mean, Android 14 widgets, <laughs> Android 12, all of the Android 14 widgets. All right, let's check the uh, web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Okay, speaking of Apple banana head peasants, bro, now Apple Vision Pro, let me just say this real quick. Everybody asking me, am I buying the Apple Vision Pro? Hell no. Yo, think about it like this. 3500 bucks for this shit, I guarantee you, I'm, and I, I, I hate putting my left testicle on the line like this, but I'm willing to bet my left testicle again that in five months, you're gonna see a bunch of different Chinese companies coming out with the Vision Ultra, Vision X. Is it, they're gonna name it something like that though. It's probably gonna be Vision Ultra or Vision X, you heard it from me, doing the same exact shit and it's gonna work for Android and iPhones. And it's gonna be 500 bucks, okay? I know everybody wanna be an early adopter. I, I, I paid the price, remember the uh, Google Glasses? I bought the Google Glasses, uh, maybe 10 years ago, I don't know how long ago that was, for 1,600 bucks, okay? And them shits lasted about three weeks before people was like, nah, this ain't going nowhere. Sometimes you just gotta wait it out. I know a lot of y'all Apple cats, y'all want this, but I, I, you know, but hey, I ain't gonna tell you how to spend your money. Matter of fact, YOLO, YOLO. Okay, look at this, 165 hertz refresh rate, 2500 nits brightness, super fast scrolling speeds. If you want to, we can open this as a window, okay? And then we could minimize that. You see, I got two windows right there on the side. Now I can go to Facebook. Now I'm chilling on Facebook, my guy right here. Chilling on Facebook, okay? Then hit the button. Let's go back to Apple Vision Pro. Okay, put it back to the side. Or we can go full screen. Let's see what did I have open. What did I have open right here? Okay, let's go to Google. Oh, matter of fact, oh, it's in the picture. Oh, this is okay. Oh, I'm about to say, what am I doing? All right, so let's go full screen. All right, there's full screen. Now from there, <laughs> from there we could do split screen multitasking. So we got Apple, Facebook on the on the bottom, Apple on the top. Now. You could pull out your iPhone out of your pocket right now. You can't even do this. Uh, you just got, you just got a brand new iPhone. You can't even do basic split screen multitasking. Come on, bro. You can swap them around like that. This is dope. All right, so this phone, and you see, I got. Look at all this stuff I got open. You know, somebody just. I was just going back and forth because I made a bunch of comments that landed me in a little hot water, <laughs> right? On on my last video, not hot water like that, but I'm just. You know, we just trolling each other. Somebody was saying one of the things that I love about iPhones. Let me pull out my iPhone right right now. Is you could go like this, right? And you got all of these apps open in the background. Okay, I never close anything on the iPhone. I don't know who told y'all that you can't do that on Android phones. I, you can have all of these apps open, you can have them as many as you want, and it's not gonna slow the phone down. But the difference is with Apple phones, if you wanna get rid of them, you gotta go like this. Let me just, you know, I, I hate having to keep, you know, talking about Apple shit. 
you got to go like this. You got to be three fingers swiping, you know, swiping all this if you want to get rid of this stuff because sometimes you don't want everybody to know what you was just doing. Now, look at this. I got the Honkat. Oh, they got, see, Apple with their bullshit RAM. You can't even come back to Instagram. Anyway. <laughs> I, I, I got to troll my Apple Mafia peasants every opportunity that I get. The difference is with the Android phones, I can just press one button and clear up everything. Okay, the last thing you want to do is hand somebody your phone and they go like this and they start scrolling and you was on um, X videos watching Big Black Ass Volume 6, you might have some splaining to do. All right, so sometimes you got to get rid of your recent apps. All right, so the web browsing speeds and the actual processing performance, excellent. All right, so now let's talk about the dual stereo speakers. And on a side note, last night I was doing some thorough testing, okay? I had some edibles, I was feeling mad good. And I decided to find out which out of all of my phones has the best speakers because I thought it was the Asus ROG 7, all right, the 7 Ultimate. So you see, I got the 7 Ultimate right here with the Aeroactive Cool on the back. Then I got the 8 Pro, I got the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and I got the Galaxy uh, S24 Ultra. And I was playing a classic, you see, uh, <laughs> Teddy Pendergraph, Love TKO, the very beginning of the song. I, you know that part, right? So I'm playing it over and over and over on each phone. And the, R, the um, ROG 7 Ultimate sounds the best. But when you add the Aeroactive Cooler on the back, it's, it's next level. But second place, second place was the ROG 8 Pro. Then after that was the iPhone 15 Pro Max. As much as I talk shit about these iPhones, these have incredible speakers. I Basically better than 90% of Android phones, except these gaming phones. The iPhone speakers are no joke. But the ROG 8 Pro speakers, even better. Let me do a little sound test. Now, before I play some music, I knew there was one more setting I wanted to show y'all, and it's under sound and vibrations. You go all the way to the bottom, audio wizard. Now, this phone has 32-bit high-res audio, okay, direct status, but you can also change the scenario effect. So you got dynamic, music, cinema, and game, and if you want to, you got a fully functional EQ. That's pretty dope. So say you're playing some music. Let's go take it over to YouTube. Now, say I want to play this music, right? Oh, the sound flaws. I hit the volume. Hit settings. You can change the EQ right there on the fly. All right, now we'll play some music. Let's get in. Cue up the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy Mark Rubier. Here we go. Yo, sound test. Time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth. Time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass maybe? How's the treble on? How's it sound now? Incredible. Look, I'm gonna cover up the bottom. This is just the top. You hear that bass? How's the sound white shoes? How's the sound on it? Got the music on the back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. Now I wanna show y'all something real quick. All right, check this out. Listen to the difference between the 8 Pro and the 7 Ultimate with the Aeroactive coolers installed. Here's the 8 Pro. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Here's the seven. Yo, sound test. Time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth. Time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound? How's it sound? So you hear this? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the sound loud? How's the bass, baby? 
This is crazy. This is why, <laughs> this is one of my favorite accessories. If you got this on your desk like this, it's not OD loud like having a big Bluetooth speaker, but it's way louder than having a regular phone speaker. I wish Asus would have left that or at least made it cross compatible with last year's Act Aero Active Cooler on this year's phone. But it is what it is. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's take a look at this beautiful display. I love the little cutout for the camera instead of having a big forehead. Excellent viewing angles. Look at this. The color doesn't change at all. 2500 nits brightness. Let's go. With those speakers, this is exactly what I mean by, even if you're not into gaming, don't you want to watch videos with a beautiful display, the music in the background, and these speakers bumping like this? I love it. Let's keep it moving. And here's how it's going to look. You're just playing music on your table. Rock out like that. All right, so now let's do a little gaming. Now, before I queue up Asphalt 9, let me show you how the Game Genie works. You just swipe down, and you got your full game suite. So if I tap on this, I can switch between dynamic, I can put it into X mode, I can put it into balance, I can raise or lower the volume. Let me show you how to do that. Let's get and turn that down. Okay, raise or lower the volume to display brightness. You got AI Grabber. Basically, that's part of having the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3. Now you got on-device AI. So say you're playing a game, you use AI Grabber to grab some text. Like if I wanna play Genshin Impact, and I don't even know what the fuck a Genshin Impact is, I could just use AI Grabber, highlight Genshin Impact, and it'll search the web and tell me what that is. That's a cool little feature. You can change your refresh rate. You got real-time information, switching networks. Okay, you can speed up, slow down, air triggers, edge tools. You can assign your macros, okay? A full-fledged gaming suite. All right, so we're gonna start off with a nice, easy game. We got Asphalt 9. Let me tell you something real quick. You see this fan on the back? A lot of times when phones have fans, you know, it's kind of gimmicky. Does it really work or not? The fan on the back is making the phone ice cold. The whole black plate is cold, but more importantly, my fingertips. Okay, if you get sweaty hands when you're gaming, you're not gonna have that problem. It's almost too cold for me down here right now, but let's get it on. Okay, so this is Asphalt 9. Snapdragon 8 Generation 3. On this beastly phone, come on, bro. Come on. Let me just get a quick W. Okay. You can use the air triggers if you want. Hold up. Oh, you like that? Oh, two wheel action. What place am I in? Oh, look, he trying to get me. He trying to get me. Get out of here. All right, I'm out. Okay, now with this, you see? Take it over to the game. Yeah, I got it in X mode. Turn the volume down, <laughs> okay? Gaming on this is crazy, but let's take it up another notch. Now, y'all know I hate these kind of games, but this is a game in review, so I got Genshin Impact. This is how it's gonna look. And again, I ask y'all, who is Genshin, okay? And what is his impact on the world? Okay, we got some... The oh, oh. here. Guess we'll just have to climb. Oh, we gotta climb? All right, let's... Climbing depletes stamina, and depleted stamina takes time to recover. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I might have, I might have to get into this game. Okay, but you look how smooth this is. The back of the phone is ice cold. I'm looking for my homeboy Genshin, or am I Genshin? I might be Genshin, yeah. Okay, yeah, all right. So, but you see how it's running? Nice. Look at this. It's running nice and smooth, bro. Let me see something. I gotta take this cooler off the back because my fingertips are ice cold. Okay, so let's see. That's a statue of the seven. Statue of the seven. There are a few of these among the seven. Pima, Pima. All right, okay, come on. All right, let's get a little bit more movement. Like I'm in the prologue. All right, let's get started. As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind. All right, let's see. Am I dying? Oh, okay. 
<laughs> I thought I was just getting. Hold on. Let's see. What is that? Jump? Different different views? Okay. Let me see if I can kill somebody real quick. You know, not that I'm a homicidal maniac, but you know, if I'm gonna do all this, it take about four hours to download this game. Hold on. What was that? What was that? What was that? I thought I saw something. Okay. I like this little move right here. We're gonna start dashing. Oh, look, I can castle. Let's see, can we swim? Let's see if my man Genshin know how to swim. Okay, he know how to swim. Oh no, I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> got the, come on, Genshin. How you don't know how to swim, bro? This is fucking Genshin. So, I mean, I gotta go the long way. Come on, man. All right. Anyway, hey, y'all wonder why I don't play these fucking games like this? What? Right. But this is how it's gonna look. As you can see, the refresh rate is on maximum. You're gonna have a lot of fun, all right? Anyway, let's keep it moving. I just wanted to see if I could swing this sword at somebody. Got this big sword, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Why it look like I'm losing life? Oh, I'm running too much? Right, whatever this is right here is getting it. Whoever this is over here is getting it. Oh man, that's a rock. <laughs> I thought it was somebody I was about to give it to. It's a tree. I'm giving it to this tree. Why not? Oh, somebody behind me. Hold on. Who that? What's up? What up, bro? Let's go. Uh. Feel the impact of Genshin. Uh. Mm, let's go. Oh, you out of here, bro. You out of here. All right, hold on. All right. <laughs> I'm going to actually pause this. I might have to get into that. That was a little bit fun. Anyway, but you see got a little gaming icon on the back. This phone is so beastly. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's talk about the camera. Now keep in mind, this is a gaming phone. So don't buy this thinking you're getting this. Okay, you're going to be very disappointed. However, you can buy this thinking you're getting this. Okay, a hardcore gaming phone that actually has a real front-facing camera and takes real photos. Now, if I want to, I can use the squeezeology. All right, let's, let's get shoes right here real quick. Shoes looking very uninterested. Look at the photos though. All right, the photos are actually pretty good. Let's take it to the camera. Let's go through the different shooting modes. You got slow motion. You got time lapse. You got video, which you could do 8K at 24, like I said, and 4K at 60. Now, for the front-facing video, you're only going to get 1080p at 30 frames per second, but it still looks light years better than these two phones. All right? The phones with the under-display cameras, those are trash. Now, you got photos. Okay, you can do wide-angle. Okay, shoes, you want to... Right, now, 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 if you want to do something, do something cute. All right? Anyway. Uh, any... Uh, uh. One Mississippi too. This is how I'm my breathing exercises. You got photos, you got wide angle, all the way up to 30 times zoom. Okay? So let's do a regular shot. Look, oh, look at that. Let's see if I can get a good shot. Shoes, look up. Okay, got one. This is a basic point and shoot. Look at that, look at that detail. Okay, that's pretty epic. You got portrait mode. Okay, let me see if I get a little portrait shot. Oh, this one actually looks nice. Of course, I got my thumb in the way. All right. Let's see. Okay, a little portrait mode. This is actually a real camera, though. Come on, keep it a buck. This is a real camera. Okay, let's go back to the shooting modes. Okay, so you got portrait mode. Two different focal lengths. You got panoramic shots, light trail, and more. Okay, so for more, you got pro mode, night mode, and pro video. Now, as usual, you're not going to get, like I said, you're not going to get this kind of quality. But take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. You actually do get some decent photos. Let me, let's do one more. Let's see if I get one more good portrait shot. This one is actually nice. This is what cat dudes do. They sit around trying to get better photos of their cats. Look at the detail. Anyway, take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. Oh, well, one more thing too. Let's see. Now let me exit out of this. Let's go to video. I want to see something. Let's take it over to video. And we'll start recording. Let's see. Oh, look at that. 
in the back when you recorded. <laughs> it's actually recorded right now. This is so dope. All right, so now let's do the RDA test. Regular daily activities. Now you just spent 1,000 bucks on a gaming phone, but let's see how it works in the real world. Now this is one of the very first gaming phones that has IP68 dust and water resistance and wireless charge. So when you go to sleep at night, grab your phone, put it on a wireless charger, look at that beautiful animation, and you get your wireless charge. Now if you wanna use wired charging, same beautiful animation. All right, so that's pretty dope. And you might wanna get a nice little razor charger like this that has the RGB lights on it. Give it that little extra flare. Okay, let's let it, uh, gotta let the charger, when you first plug it back in, 
Put it on the charger like that. Oh, matter of fact, hold up, I got my flashlight on. See, that's the thing with that squeeze. Okay, let's try it again. There it is. Okay, so you wake up in the morning, you're gonna have your phone like this. If you look closely, you're gonna have always on display. You see, I got all my notifications. You're gonna see if you do have any new ones, that virtual notification LED. And when you pick up your phone, all you gotta do is look at it and you see how fast that popped open? I don't have to touch anything. Just like that. Let's do my fingerprint test. It should open before my finger gets there. You see? But if you want to, you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works pretty flawlessly. Oh, that was so fast it took my face. All right, there it is. We'll do one more. Okay? So you wake up in the morning. Bang, just like that. Now I'm using my favorite transparent weather. Okay, so we can see it's 42 degrees right now. It's kind of springtime in New York City. <sighs> Let's exit out of that. Okay, so next, swipe over, check your steps. Uh, you can check your temperature of your phone, your GPU, okay? Today's steps, I did 83 big boy steps, okay? Look, I did, I did 857, I've been doing a little walk in here. All right, so let's go to uh, Google, check my Google uh, homepage. Now, since you don't have, um, since this is the Chinese version, you don't swipe over, you just hit the G button. And there it is. Okay, so we got Ana Magic V2 unboxing. I am gonna get one of those. One plus 12 and 12 R. I got some one plus content coming tomorrow. <laughs> Let's see, ROG 7. See, this, this is what I'm talking about. I just said it, the ROG 7. This one right here is still anywhere between 700 and 1,000 bucks. Okay, so, you know, that's still an expensive phone. Now all of a sudden the back is completely different. But some people might like that back better. Let's exit out of that. Galaxy S23. Okay, Vivo Y100. Vivo, you know, these Y phones been pretty trash. I actually got two a couple of months ago that I didn't even bother reviewing because I thought they was trash. I don't know. I didn't like them. Let's see. We got the Asus ROG Ally 2. Just that fast, man. These companies, man, they be in your pockets. The One X Player. I am doing the 10-inch version. I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. Okay, we got Casetify. You know, Casetify slowly emerging out of the shadows. <laughs> Case the fire popping up out of the shadows, yo. <laughs> it is what it is. Which OnePlus phone support wireless charging? Okay. 650 back on a Galaxy. That's pretty good. Old school typewriters look like. Okay, LG wash machine. I see LG, they dropped out of the phone game, but they still big in the washing machine and dryer game, yo. Don't get it twisted. Okay, Mortal Kombat 1. Some more, uh, looks like some Razer mouse. Okay, OnePlus 12 cases. Asus Zenfone 11, just that fast. I'm telling you, man. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm uh, you know, I'm, I just bought this the other day. That's why I'm getting this recommendation. I bought a razor blade, 16, or was it 18? I think it was 18. Okay, I didn't review it because eh, ain't really nothing to see. <laughs> oh, look at these. Now, what are, what are these? Now, these I don't know what I rock those. I don't know. But this is how your Google homepage is going to look. DJI Mic 2, I just ordered one of those. Not, not to review, to actually use. Okay. But you see, you got excellent scrolling speeds, and then you could just exit out of that. And if I wanted to, we could just open this up as a little window, and we'll save that for later, because I might have to come back to Google and see what's going down. Or we could just get rid of it. Boom, there it is. All right. Now, from right here, make sure I got maximum refresh rate. I can see my battery. And if I turn the phone off real quick, we're gonna get this little animation. Y'all seen it already. We got the time, okay? We got the battery percentage, okay? We got the ROG name. And look at that satin finish on the back. Beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, let's get back to business. All right, so we go open up. Look at that face unlock. Okay, let's do a little work, okay? All right, so I got some debt debt solutions. What they trying to say? All right, let's go ahead and reply to this. What y'all trying to say? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? I hit send. Okay, that's your emails. Okay, that's how your email's gonna look. Okay, a bunch of emails that I've been replying to all day. What is this? Let's see, um, nothing to really see there. I don't really got nothing coming in. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now we'll do some social media savagery. Let's take it over to Facebook. Okay, the now, I'm actually reviewing this in a, in a few minutes. Well, not a few minutes, a couple of days. The ice mag, a lot of people wanted to see that, so I got one coming. 
Let's see what Pierre doing to this. Um, he got he, he he looking for competition. <sighs> you know this this is why you this is why you can't give certain people a nice car, yo. Cause then they then they start doing shit like this, yo. You know what is he talking God about? Thanks, giving God praise. Okay, he's giving God thanks. Friday night. Dom. Uh, hold up. I, you know I got I, I I can't let this ride, yo. You don't want this. I can't let this. I can't let that ride, yo. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to emojis. You don't want this fire right here because that's what I'm packing. You don't want this here. But I, I will like the post. I ain't no hater. Okay? Look at my man Rob Fleming. Now, me, yo, quick story time with Uncle Floss. This dude worked on the ambulance with me. All right? His last name is Fleming. So on the ambulance, we call each other by our last name. So I used to call him Young Flem. Because he was, when I, you know, I was kind of training him, he was a young lad. I used to call him Young Flem. Look at my man Rob Fleming, bro. My man Young Flem, yo. <laughs> we worked in it. He'll tell you to this day. He'll tell you I'm the one who trained him in the ways of the the world, <laughs> the way the ambulance world, not that kind of world. Young Flem, yeah, my man Flem. We call him Young Flem because, matter of fact, me and his brother worked. He got an older brother who's maybe one year older. We called him Big Fleming because he's a little heavy set. So we called him Big Fleming and Young Flem, right? So I worked with Big Flem on the ambulance. Oh, somebody remind me for Uncle uh, Story Time with Uncle Floss the Flem story. You know, just, just somebody, tell us about the Flemington story, and I'll tell you. No, Fleming, Fleming. Somebody, somebody remind me the Fleming ambulance story. Y'all gonna like that one one day. I, I ain't gonna kill y'all within this video though. Okay, who this? Mary J. Blige, yeah. Bro, Mary J. Blige is the goat in my book, my man Rob. Okay, anyway. Okay. Okay, this is how you things we're gonna look. Okay, who yeah, who let's see? High energy. Um Coco B. Coco B um back in the days, you uh, Owen Hart. Yo, that's what I'm saying. Us old school guys, we can we cannot be roasting these young cats for painting their nails and doing all this zesty shit that they doing now. Cause you, you, this is this was us back in the days. We was walking around looking like this, yeah. Let's keep it a buck, yeah. Okay. So here's how your Facebook is gonna look. Okay. Look at, look at MJ and Pittman. Uh, this is, you know, the Jordan family. The Jordan family is diabolical right now. It's my brother right here. All right, let's see. All right, anyway, so that's your Facebook. Exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to X. I keep saying Twitter. I'm gonna start saying X. Let's go to my mentions. Okay. Let's see what somebody's talking about. And I had to mute this post. I'm, I, I ain't getting too many unnecessary threads. All right, somebody got the orange Galactus. Okay, it kind of looks good. I ordered yellow. And somebody said, that's why we shouldn't jump to conclusions. Just based on renders alone, looks looks like um much better than the renders. Okay. Floss, I've watched loads of 24S Ultra, uh, Ultra one week later reviews, but just waiting for yours to drop. Now, the difference between me and a lot of other reviewers, I got a lot of shit that I want to roast Samsung about, but I'm not going to roast their review unit. You know, I'm, I'm a gentleman. Somebody gave me something for free. I ain't going to come online and start shitting on them. So I bought my own. And when I get mine, mine comes on the 29th. When I get mine on the 29th, the 30th. All right, mark your calendars the 30th. I believe that's Tuesday. I'm going to shoot the video on Tuesday. It's going to take. It's gonna probably be a snatter cut, so it's going to take forever to render. So figure Wednesday. All right, Wednesday. All right, so my man right here, let's get in and reply to him. Okay, let's do Wednesday. Wednesday, bruh. I like to spell bruh, B-U-R-H. Okay, and we go ahead and like that. Okay, so this is how your Twitter is going to look. Let's see. Look, somebody said, come on, bro, don't steal. Flick him and follow him from Flossy when flicking the papers. Oh, okay, let me see. Somebody out here. Let's see. Somebody out here. Swag jacking. Let's see. Somebody out here swag, swag jacking. Let's see. Hold up. Let's see. Hold up. Let's, let's, let's see. Hold up. Let's see. Do we got any swag jacking alert? Okay, a little pluck right there, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, okay, look. Nah, man, no stealing. Shout out to Floss. I do that because of him. All right, shout out to my man, Zachary Anderson. Yeah, look, I don't mind. I, I'm not going to say swag jacking. All right, if, if, if you show in love, y'all can use all of my phrases and all of my little gimmicks. Do your thing, man. As long as as long as long you ain't trying to act like you invented the, the wheel yourself. You know, all right? you know what I'm saying? I respect it, though. All right, anyway. Somebody said, okay, Samsung. Some Samsung got rid of um a few things and they want me to call them out in the video. Note it, bro. Note it. I'm calling out everything that y'all want me to call out. All right, let's see. Anything else we need to see? Ultra review coming soon, bro. When's the Snyder cut? Jake from Jake from Hate Form. Yo, Jake from Hate Form. Let's get a reply to him too. Wednesday, bro. 
Okay. And you know, cause this is what you're gonna be doing on your phone. You're gonna be doing regular shit like this. You ain't gonna be playing Genshin Impact all day. You're gonna be on Twitter. All right, so this is this how your Twitter's gonna look and look how smooth and fluent that is. And if I wanna get, you know, extra, I can be on Twitter and Facebook getting a double dose and we'll switch them up just like that. Get a double dose of social media savagery or just exit out of both of those. And of course, everything's still running in the background. Just clear it just like that. Let's take it over to TikTok. We're gonna have to lower the volume for this. You see, videos like this is exactly what you gotta show people when they're talking about, oh, who cares about presentation? Who cares about the presentation? Imagine you just bought a Patek, all right? And it came in that box like that Galaxy. Bro, you spending all that money, you're supposed to have a presentation like this with the cloth, the wood grain box, like you're supposed to be wearing gloves. That's how this presentation was. I could have unboxed this with gloves on if I really wanted to. Anyway, the Patek, even with the Roly, uh, you get a Roly. Ain't nobody buying nothing for over a thousand bucks and just come in a little cardboard box. Come on, bro. Come on. We got the Clippers. Okay. Look at Amaya. Look, look, look at Amaya. Look at Amaya. Look, 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 look at Amaya. Look at Amaya. Out there looking, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, looking like she really enjoying the snow. I know right after that photo, she was like, all right, come on. Get, let's, y'all, y'all ready to go? I'm cold. Amaya's always cold. I was like, I'm cold. I know she's saying I'm cold right now. I, I, can, look, I, I can see it in the face. She trying to look cute, but she's like, I'm cold. <laughs> Ah, shout out to the Versace boots that my brother gave her before he passed away. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to her. Because she didn't like them, but I said, you got to wear them if you ever go somewhere in the snow. So shout out to Amaya for, for keeping it, you know, keeping it funky. All right, let's see. Rooftop. Oh, what is this? Oh, some bowling shenanigans. All right, pl pl playing around in these good folks bowling alley like that. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? This, you know, just for some views. Come on, man. You know, imagine you trying to have a, a bowling date with your girl as, and, and dudes is up in there doing some shit like this. You see, look, in the background, there's some regular people in there trying to get their bowling on, man. Y'all got to start making your content in, in places that's content friendly. This is not a content friendly zone. This is like a guy back there looking like, yo, what y'all doing? You know, it's, let me see how many views they got. A half a million views, um, I guess, might be worth it for them. But uh, you got to think about the people next to you. All right. What is this? Oh, bro, I got to talk, I got to talk to y'all about something I just got put on with last night. I'm a, I'm a, we're going to get to that in a minute. All right, Samsung. What is this? I'm about to say the Samsung iPhone. This is the, you know, but not this version, but the S23, uh, S24 and S24 Plus. Those are iPhones, bro. Samsung just straight jack Apple. And I ain't mad at them, yo. Sometimes you just got to jack folks and let them know that, yo, Apple ain't going to pull up on them. So what they going to do? They ain't gonna do nothing. Right, look at this. Oh, okay, that that um rap is, is epic. Okay, a little Dirk action. Okay, anyway, so this is how your TikTok is gonna look. Okay. Okay. Oh, what is this? Now this is. I, I need this too. I need one of these too. I need one of these too. Yeah. Eight hundred dollars, huh? Okay, that's a lot of work for eight beans. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Now we'll take it over to Instagram. Of course, I got to log in. Hold up. You know, I don't know why I get... I, well, I, I, then again, I do kind of know. You see, I got this you know, iPhone, y'all cats that keep trying to hack my Instagram. It's not going to happen, yo, because I got the two, three, four factor. I got to... Let me, let me hit one of these factors. Hold up. Hold on a second. Let me log in. I know. I'm sorry, y'all. It's so cold and I can't even... Uh, all right, hold up. Damn it. Uh, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, my bad. All right, I had to I had to do the triple factor authentication. Choose, come on, bro. And right, let's see what pops up. All right, here we go. All right, so, all right. So now we got uh, you know, my man Goob out here exposing folks. Yo, Goob, this is one guy Goob that you do not want to have any problems with, because he will do. He will pull up the receipts. He will do the research. My man John Rittinger, out here with these uh, these uh, fraudulent Teslas, yo. Fake ass Teslas. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's keep it moving. All right. All right. So here's how Instagram. Oh, yo, yo. Did you see? They, they, yo, they, they, they got my man Don. Yo, they got Don. They got big Don. Yo. Okay. A lot of clapping going on. They got the clappers out today. Let's see. Donald Trump's attorney. Yo, I heard they, they, they hit Donald for 85 million. I mean, they ain't, she ain't going to see one penny of that. Because one thing about Trump, he know the system. I, he going to move that money around. She not getting no money from that. But they, 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 they you know, they, they, they got him. Though. 
Whoa, 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 what's up? Let's see. Tiana Taylor says Iman Sharma has cut off all utilities in the home. Oh, Iman, yo, my man, yo, hold up. What? Iman playing dirty right now. He playing dirty. I mean, but sometimes that's how you got to do it, though. I, 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 I'm not going to comment on that. He playing diabolical. This is my man right here. Hold up. This is it. Huh? <laughs> Yo, my girl be like, what you want to eat for dinner? Huh? huh? <laughs> <laughs> yo, Cheryl, what are you trying to go today? Huh? huh? This is, yo, this is a whole page of all huh? the huh. Hold up, is it, hold up, hold up. Watch this. Huh? this is, watch this. This is a whole page of all this. This is all, this is what I be watching, yo. I literally just be watching this all day sometimes, yo. Huh? <laughs> I don't know why I find that so stupid. I right, just turn that music off, yeah. All right, hurry up. See this? I'm saying like, look, look at this, yeah. This is a motivation, man, for for me to unbig my back, yo. Because everybody out here in shape, looking all healthy, I can't be walking around with a big ass back, yo. Okay, okay. All right, all right shoes. Come, come on, bro. Hey, right, shoes tail just went up my left nostril, yeah. All right, what's what's Rick, what's Rick? Rick Ross? He be Rick, Ross be doing a little. He be, he be he, I need I need a little break from Ross, yeah. All right, Ross is you know, I seen too much Ross in one week. Shout out to my man Joe Rogan. All right, Uncle Joe Rogan. All right, my man Key. Look at this. Look at this. You know what I'm saying? These light skinned dudes, man. You know, light skinned dudes. Oh, let's, let's see. Let's, look, look at these light skinned. These light skinned dudes, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta like the photo though, cause you can't be looking like you hating, but. What's Benzino talking about? She has a message. Yo, you heard, you heard Eminem just Eminem just came out of the blue at at Benzino's throat. Let's see. They, oh look, they they played a song. One condition, you must bro, laugh. Okay. bro, if I right, I can't play because I don't want to get copyright. But listen to the Eminem diss track. I mean, it's not vintage Eminem, but he kind of just went at Benzino's neck, and I mean that <laughs> Benzino's neck or lack of the <laughs> lack of neck. Let's see, Fifty Cent dropped the official trailer for the new season of BMF. Okay, calm down, calm down. That's my show though. All right, anyway, all right. So here's how your Instagram is gonna look. Okay, let's see. Okay. All right, this Instagram. Hey now, all right, you can zoom in if you All right, boom. Damn, it was. Oh yeah, back pains right there. Okay, you know what I'm saying. This is what I'm talking about. This is why you gotta hit them legs in the gym, fellas. You know what I'm saying. And ladies, you gotta hit them legs. So why not? Anyway, so this is how your Instagram is going to look. Now, there's one thing I want to show you that my girl put me on to yesterday. Let's see if it comes up in my re recommendations quickly. Let's see. Hold up. All right, well, I'm going to have to go. Let me go to my, let me go to my history and find it real quick because y'all need to start watching this. I can't believe that I just, I'm just now getting up. Let's see. Hold up. It's called, it's called Rough and Rowdy Boxing. Let me tell you something, man. I never knew about rough and rowdy boxing. So last night my girl was like, "Yo, um, I'm like, yo, what you doing?" She like, "Yeah, you know, me, you know, we have everybody in the house watching the rough and rowdy pay per view." I'm like, "What is that, yo?" So she sent me a little clip. It was some. It was. It might have been like it was two big fat guys like that boxing. I was like, "Yo, I need to see that." So she sent me the link, and I ended up watching the whole. It was like 20 fights. I ended up. I came in late. I watched the last like seven fights, bro. First of all, they be having like the little people fighting the dwarves. They be having the ring girls fighting, but some of these fights are real. I mean, it's not like some, you know, a lot of them you could tell that they not the, they not gonna be fighting in the, you know, put a title on a national pay per view. But these are like just regular people fighting yeah? But a lot of them know how to fight, and the fights be getting brutal. I'm telling you, yo, rough and rowdy. Make sure I'm already hooked. I'm already hooked. The little people fight was dope. <laughs> it was crazy, but yo, the commentary, the commentators had me on the floor. All right, rough and rowdy boxing. So say I want to watch some rough and rowdy. Got to turn this down. All right, they be having the ring girls. They be having the ring girls in, in the middle of the rounds. We're wearing some scantily, very scantily. Oh, look at that. Took him down in a fight. I think I watched that one yesterday. Took him down in the fight. I can exit out of this. Okay. Picture and picture. Bro, look at this. This is a brawl right here. I'm, I'm not going to spoil it for you because I haven't seen that one. I'm about to watch that in a minute. Anyway, and of course, if I want to do some hardcore gaming, take it, you know, take it, hit my air triggers, take it right to the armory crate, take it back over to Genshin Impact. Okay? All my little games on deck. Exit out of here. Overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, okay, let's get and drop this right here. Matter of fact, let me, let me, let me exit out of all of this stuff.
because I want my animations back up. Overall, on a scale of one to 10, I am giving the Asus ROG 8 Pro a major, major, major go. This is the final boss of all gaming phones. And before y'all ask me, which one would I take this or this or anything else on the market? This is the only gaming phone that I would buy and use. Now don't get me wrong, some of these phones like this, 650 bucks or 700 bucks, I mean, they worth it for the price. But at the same time, I'm actually gonna wanna use the camera. I'm actually gonna wanna use wireless charge. I'm actually wanna, you know, play outside in the water. This is an all around phone and it has that look of a certified flagship. And that's what I like about it. Like I said, I can even, I could stomach this little line right here for what you get. This is insane, okay? Anyway, this is the ROG 8 Pro. It does come with the, um, if you want, you can get it in a different version, the actual ROG 8. You're not gonna have the dot matrix on the back. You're gonna have a LED light on the back, which to me kind of looks very gamey. Like, nah, I don't like that. Hold on a second. All right. <laughs> The ROG 8, it has the tense, it has that logo on the back, it's RGB. I like this better, even though it doesn't have any RGB color to it. This is more subtle, more smooth, and it already came into play. I, I was at the gym earlier, and I had this on the floor next to me, and I kept glancing over to look at the time. This is so dope. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Next up... The big boy, okay, I'm not gonna keep y'all waiting. I, I'm not gonna do 100 more phones. My very next phone review, I promise y'all, is gonna be the Galaxy S24 Ultra 5 Gangster Alpha Omega Supreme, AKA Galactus 3.0, AKA iPhone 2.0. Hit me up in the comments, let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following with me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and roll. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. Hey guys, Jerry Springer here. Uh, subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real reviews. Uh, he has a tech channel on YouTube, and he already has over 2 million subscribers, so uh, give him a look. Uh, you may like it, and it could be very useful. Take care of yourself and each other.